Hi, what's up? Uh, special monsters. Let's run through this super, super quickly. So, start off, Hellhound or Ifrit. Both of these best special by far in the game. 50k% percent damage buff. You're going to really need these units. Um, either, honestly, the evolution doesn't make too much of a difference because it only changes damage. But you want three gold stars. You want max level to get that 50k% percent damage buff. Highest on a single unit in the whole game. Drop it next to one of your mythic carries, something like Amaterasu would be perfect. And this is going to be the damage buff that boosts up your carry to finish endgame levels like Ice Queen's Tempest, uh, Kami, KPR, uh, Wrath of Volcano Goddess, all of those, you know, very, very important special. If there's one special you're going to get, go get Hellhound. Now, let's move on to the less good specials. Uh, I'm going to actually group all of these together as a gold burden because... What ends up happening after you get them is that they cost gold to upgrade and some of them cost a lot like archangel gabriel problem is though uh they just have bad damage they're bad units overall so when you're playing a level like evil summoner you're trying to auto farm it these units get auto placed down very useless if they're not upgraded do very little damage and you need to sink a lot of gold into them so that you can keep auto farming evil summoner to not get like useless units that kind of lose you the level because you don't have enough damage. But yeah, basically all of these units are like pure DPS, but they just have really bad DPS. So they're not good. Cronus and I guess Monkey and Limzard can be thrown in there. I I'm pretty sure they have some form of CC. Maybe not Monkey, maybe not Limzard. Honestly, maybe not even Cronus. But point is, they may or may not have added on CC like a Freeze or a Stun or whatever. But it's so bad that I don't even remember if they have it. And of course, their damage is bad too. So bad stun, bad damage. Also pretty useless. Uh, gold burden. Again, got to upgrade it for evil summoner. But uh, they're kind of useless. Um, next up, I'm going to say very good to have is Archimedes and Arc Archimedes. Actually, especially um, Arc Archimedes because Arc Archimedes is going to do damage as well. But basically, this unit has like a full map freeze, and Arc Archimedes has a full map freeze and uh, damage as well. So, could be like an alternate Volcano Goddess carry, could be just, you know, really good CC unit to have, could be incorporated into farming setups to clear a little bit faster. I would say I would have both of them as very, very good to have just because um, Archimedes, even unevolved, is just a really good full map stun. Uh, of course, you also have King Slime or Slime King or whatever, but uh, they're kind of like, I don't know, almost like duplicates of each other in, in at least endgame setups prior to the Archimedes Evolution, but still just very solid to have a full map stun and, you know, even more solid to have full map stun and damage. A lot of the endgame setups use Arc Archimedes in them as well, especially with King and Yellow. But next up, we'll say, yeah, these are kind of the good dev units. Pound Foolish, I believe, is like a Halloween special that only came around once. I wasn't able to get him, but as far as I remember, I'm pretty sure he's just a Jiraiya replacement in classic level farming setups. So he's just a unit with a lot of range that you can put up front. And if you're trying to farm like a Nightmare level, or not a Nightmare level, but if you're trying to farm JR for gold, you can just have Pound Foolish up there in the front with something like a Speedy. Put him at high level if you don't have access to Jiraiya. And then, uh, yeah, just clear the level a bit faster there. But, you know, if Jirai is close by, then not really a lot of reason to take him because Jiraiya is better in every single way. Uh, next up, Pony Sparks, Crispy, Cheebs. Okay, so Cheebs is decent CC, I guess. I would almost say he's a gold burden, but his stun does last for a while. He can stun multiple enemies with a speed buff. Could have some useful niches. I probably cleared Cosmic Tower with him a couple times. Again, not super important, but the stun does provide like decent enough utility. Crispy speeds up classic level farming setups a little bit faster uh, with some global damage. You can drop him in the back with the speed buff, right? If you have Horus and Speedy, drop him in the back with the Speedy and, you know, he can do some extra damage, help you clear the map faster. Or, you know, don't. If you have a lot of units, you can drop him in there without the speed buff and you'll do some more global damage to help you clear classics a little bit faster. Uh, Pony Sparks, Evo Pony Sparks, I would say both good to have. Provides 
decent stun lightning damage that can maybe be supplementary in iqt if you don't have like the king and yellow spammable setups and yeah just a pretty decent stun and pretty decent element probably i would say all the units that are kind of like good to have they're not necessary there's they're very situationally useful i would say maybe apart from crispy because crispy has actually like is used in the fastest classic level farming setups but situational use you know gold burden again you're gonna try and not get them but the most effective way to progress is to play the game and if you play the game you get summoning stones you're forced to summon them uh so you know that's tough archimedes really try and get her doesn't really matter at star level too much whereas hellhound you really need that three gold star to uh to do well in the end game so that's pretty much it for this video like subscribe uh yeah see ya